If you want to support Slopes Game Room, then please click the links that you see in the top comments. Welcome to Quick Shot, the video game fact show for you to watch whilst you wait for my next live stream. Yep, every Thursday night around 8pm UK time, I DJ Slope with an audience mostly consisting of people in their 30s do that one thing that most 30 year olds are confused by, streaming games. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? People watching me and hundreds of thousands of millions of other streamers simply playing games instead of playing games for themselves. What is wrong with us? Why do we do it? If you ask me, it's mostly down to the social side of things, especially in this day and age when even meeting a friend is a privilege. There's nothing quite like catching up with someone, chatting away and playing some video games and live streaming gives us a way of doing just that. I've been pretty consistent throughout 2020, streaming once a week and still putting out one or two standard Slopes Game Room videos out each week too, and because of this I finally understand the appeal of live streaming. Yes, I get it, I'm no longer mentally middle aged. However, there are still several aspects of streaming where I turn back into that middle aged fella, completely baffled as to why anybody would ever want to watch them. You know what I'm talking about, the people that eat snacks for money, the boob and ass jiggling every time they do badly in a game. I mean I'm not stupid, obviously I understand the appeal of watching a heavily made up lass with the camera slightly lower than needed and what can only really be described as soft core streaming, but I'm on a PC or phone whilst watching this and I don't know if you guys have heard about this before but the um, the internet is a lot more risque than these live streams offer if you know what sites to go to. From my experience that only really takes up about three and a half minutes and then you can get back to one of my real gamer streams every Thursday night around 8pm batteries not included. Well. No matter how much I try and plug these bad boys, they will never ever get the numbers that a beautiful Chinese girl can offer. Seriously, before working on this video I had no idea how crazy the world of female Chinese streaming was. Millions of people every day watch as these young women do, well, not a whole lot. Sure you got some gaming thrown in during these 10 hour a day live streams, but they mostly consist of singing, consist of dancing and consist of eating food in exchange for tips. A massive amount of tips. In fact, according to a documentary set in 2017, some of the higher end streamers bring in around about thirty to forty thousand dollars a month doing stuff like this. And even though the vast majority of the big, big streamers are actually owned by agencies that do their makeup, give dance lessons, and obviously promote the hell out of them, it's not uncommon for a young model that has it all to rise up the ranks super quickly and join them in the big leagues. And one of those streamers that did just this is your highness Chow Bila. Now in all fairness she wasn't bringing in the big big bucks but she did super well for herself asking her fans to donate the equivalent of around about $14,000 and most of the time getting pretty close to that target. She was originally a voice actress if my research is correct and during these live streams unlike the other girls she would mostly play video games with the camera off. But when it was switched on, mostly because people paid her to do so, she looked just as good as everyone else. Why? Because she used filters and a lot of them. Now before going ahead it's worth chatting about just how different live streaming is in China. Sure hairy handed individuals still watch these ladies acting all seductive but it's nowhere near as in your face as a lot of western streamers. The country is not all that excited about its growing online streaming presence and because of this it's heavily controlled. You gotta be careful what you say, you gotta be very PC, politically sensitive and most of all you can't be vulgar. 
In other words, twerking is out of the question and being OTT cute is the way to go. Your Highness Chow Bila did exactly this, just like everybody else did, and her heavy pushing for tips every single five minutes that would annoy us Westerners was the norm in China, as were those filters. <laughs> you think that that makes me look old application that we use is good? You ain't seen nothing yet. Even though these ladies are indeed already pretty stunning for the most part, nothing makes you look cuter than these insane filters. It's become so common that the use of these filters are not only obvious, but they're expected too. Everybody's using them and just like the constant begging for tips, it's just accepted. However, from time to time, as these streamers become more and more popular in China, not only will people pay to have the cameras actually turned on, but they also pay to have the filters turned off. That's fine, of course, for the massive companies that have these perfectly doled up self-conscious supermodels, but for your highness Chow Bila, a streamer with 13,500 followers would indeed bring in the money promising to show off her natural beauty, but she never did. From what I can tell, either the stream would end just before the goal was reached or the goal was just too high to reach in the first place. Still, she would make plenty of bank in the process. Now by this point, you obviously know what's going to happen here. During one of her live streams that brought in close to the equivalent of $5,000 in tips up to this point of a $14,500 goal, a heavy chunk of those donators that were in the VIP room just started to randomly disappear in big chunks. Your Highness was confused. She had no idea why so many people were leaving, so she continued begging for money more and more frequently until it was practically all she was doing. What happened? Well, Your Highness sometimes did things a little bit differently. Instead of doling herself up with stupid amounts of makeup to get the filter to work just right, she, like many others, would go down the easy route and simply slap a still image over her face with the promise to remove it when the target was hit. And the reason why so many were leaving was because the streaming software, for whatever reason, had removed the image accidentally, revealing a 58-year-old confused woman. She quickly tried to save the situation, saying that another filter had made her look ugly and this wasn't her true form. She posted loads of social media posts trying to prove that she was indeed real, but nobody bought it. She lost her main income, which mostly consisted of monthly paying subscribers who no doubt moved on to the next girl, and all of her posts got slammed by angry, horny chaps who demanded their money back, especially the one that dropped the equivalent of $14,500 himself to actually meet her, which, you know, he obviously never did. However, the final twist of this entire story is her subscriber count actually jumped from 13,500 to around about 600,000 when this story hit the news. And even though she lost her hardcore supporters, she gained loads more supporters who questioned if what she did was any different than the agencies who technically did the same thing to already beautiful younger models. For these new followers, the real icing on the cake was that she just showed up several thousand stupid donators that ploughed money into a 58-year-old woman, but on top of that, they wanted to show support to the crazy amount of shaming that she was getting with hashtags based on the whole story, such as hashtag old lady face and hashtag granny. And even though she did finally gain this audience that she always wanted, she never streamed again. So. Is your highness to blame here, tricking people to pay tens of thousands of dollars? Or is it the viewers that donated the money to the most trained, filtered, and let's be honest, fake streamer that they can find? Leave your comments down below. And don't forget, Thursday nights is stream night here on the channel, so don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell.